Bride to be killed in a car crash on the way to her own bachelorette party. KCTV reporting. 31 people were arrested on the ninth night of civil unrest in Ferguson, Missouri. During an early morning news conference, Missouri Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson blamed the chaos on violent agitators. ABC World News anchor is leaving after five years behind the desk, according to a statement from ABC News. Protesters clashed with police on the eighth night of violence. Police fired tear gas and rubber bullets in response to gunfire, looting, and vandalism. The job center receives about $30,000 a year from the city, and a recent report indicates that about 80% of the workers that come from from that center are here illegally. But I'm right in front of the King Supers off of Yosemite and Bellevue. The parking lot right here, as you can see, is practically buried. Encuentro en la carretera Pacific Coast Highway a la altura de Carbon Canyon, pero el incendio se ha concentrado al otro lado de esta loma donde helicópteros han estado expulsando eh, material contra incendio para poder controlar las llamas. WB2 News reporter Naive Reynoso is live tonight in Pueblo. Naive, smokers there refuse to accept the ban? That's right. They believe Pueblo's smoking ban is strict than similar ones passed in other cities because number one, it doesn't allow for special smoking sections, and number two, it prohibits smoking within 20 feet of any public doorway. The bar behind me used chalk to mark exactly where that 20 feet mark is. Many people not very happy with this new law. The paper this morning says it all, Frank. The angels are the toast of the town. And Although it's a little quiet here this morning at Angel Stadium, it was a whole different story yesterday when more than 40,000 fans were in the stands cheering on their favorite team, and they saw them clinch their third American League West title in four years, and it may go down to the last day to find out who the Angels are going to play in the division series. Reporting live from a very happy Orange County, Naive Reynoso, back to you in the studio. All right, uh, Naive, time to get on the bandwagon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Good morning, Sharon. According to a report from the LA Times this morning, these so-called competitions even have names such as Operation Any Booking and Operation Vehicle Impound. The paper received an email from a lieutenant referring to these games that involve teams of deputies patrolling the southeast Los Angeles cities. Matt Damon's closest friends gathered at the Beverly Hilton on Saturday night as he receives the American Cinematheque Award. Matt, good luck, buddy. Weighing in a little over seven pounds. Now, mom and dad are doing just fine. They just brought the baby home this evening. And boy, they have quite a story to tell him when he grows up and the video to prove it. Reporting live from Highlands Ranch, Naive Reynoso, WB2 News. Desde intentos de secuestro hasta violaciones, una ola de crímenes contra los menores se han registrado en estos días en varios puntos del sur de California. Bay Reynoso is in Anaheim with the latest on this. Good morning to you. Good morning, and it's an issue that has the city of Anaheim divided. On the one hand, developers say that market rate housing would improve the local economy, but on the other hand, advocates say that this is housing that many low income residents simply won't be able to afford. And they wanted to make it clear that there is no specific known threat to any LA nightclub, but of course, they want to take all the precautionary measures on this 4th of July. Reporting live from Hollywood, Naiva Reynoso, now back to you guys in the studio. Hi, Naivi. Hi, good morning. Lately, there has been a lot of concern by Lakers fans over the fate of Kobe Bryant, but recent statements made by Lakers owner Jerry Buss and by Bryant himself may clarify the situation. Kobe Bryant posted on his website. Bay Reynoso live now at Denver's police headquarters with more. Well, Shaleen, just two days ago, three Molotov cocktails were thrown into the Valdez family's home. Now they're fearing for their lives. What the hell is that? They shot that time was this one. 16 year old Victor Valdez is giving me a tour of all the bullet holes in his home. Damage, he says, was caused by gangs. They just came by and shot, and they hit my sister on her arm. ¿Cómo se siente que esto le está pasando? Muy mal. Adelaida Valdez, Victor's mother, says her family's been harassed by a gang named the Oldies for seven years. Bullets and bricks being their common form of aggression, but two days ago it got worse. Someone threw three gasoline-filled bottles at their home. I was sleeping in the living room when my sister started screaming, the van's on fire. So. We just, I just grabbed a bucket of water and started throwing it on the fire. The fire bombs damaged two cars that were parked in the carport and awoke his whole family. They were, you know, 
worried that the fire, the house might catch on fire or something. But luckily it didn't. I asked his mother why they were targets. She says it's because her older son refused to join a neighborhood gang, and they've been retaliating ever since. Adelaida Valdez and her husband Julian fear for their children's life. She says she'd rather have them alive than cry at their funerals. Friday's attack was a close call, and they think it might get worse. So they put their house up for sale, hoping they can leave their problems behind and start a new life before it's too late. Denver police say they are aware of gang activity in northeast Denver, and they're investigating this incident. Reporting live from police headquarters, Naiba Reynoso, WB2 News.